Hi everybody, Dr. Anthony Yoon, America's Holistic Plastic Surgeon, and today I'm going to talk with you about how do I improve my crepey skin. Now this came up today because I had a patient of mine, a real nice uh, woman who really looked fantastic. She had great bony structure, she had nice um, structure to her cheeks and her neck, but her skin was really crepey. Now she didn't have any history of being on steroids or anything like that, just developed that crepiness of her skin. So I thought, hmm, maybe I should share it with all of you. How can you improve your crepey skin? So that's what we're gonna cover today. Simple things you can do, no surgery or anything like that, no needles, how can you improve it? So the first thing you wanna think about if you've got crepey skin is you want to look at improving the collagen of your skin. So our skin is composed mainly of collagen and it, as we get older that collagen in our skin thins and the collagen also is normally in these kind of tight fact, uh, tightly packed fibers and as we get older kind of like a logs in a log cabin they become more frayed they start to fall apart. So one thing we want to do is we want to replenish our skin of the collagen that it's lost. And there are studies that show that if you take supplemental collagen, you can actually do that. There are studies that show that those people who actually take collagen supplements can experience a thickening of the collagen in their skin. So the easiest way to do that is you take a collagen supplement like this one. This is our Yoon Health Supplemental Collagen. You take one scoop, you mix it with your drink. Um, a lot of times you do it with smoothies or you can do it with coffee or tea. Mix it with your drink, just take it once a day and you should see your skin steadily start to improve. Now that's my collagen, there's other ones on the market. Just make sure that they are high quality. There's some low quality supplements out there that you definitely want to avoid. So um, this is definitely a place where you really want to be careful. And unfortunately for you vegans and vegetarians, there isn't a whole lot of an option there. The one that we have, the Yoon Health Supplemental Collagen is bovine based, so it's cow based. Um, unfortunately, no option for vegans or vegetarians in this one, in this case. Well, what else can you do? Bone broth, okay? Once again, no real ve vegan or vegetarian option for bone broth, but for those of you who are not vegan or vegetarian, bone broth, it has, it's really chock full of collagen and gelatin. These are proteins that can be very, very good for the building blocks of your skin. I have a good friend of mine, Dr. Kellyanne Petrucci, who wrote a book called The Bone Broth Diet, and she has found in so many of her clients and patients such improvement of their skin when they take bone broth. And there are a lot of functional and holistic medicine practitioners who are finding the same thing. Now, bone broth isn't the same as just buying chicken broth or beef broth at your store. This is something where the, it really has to simmer for a long time with those bones. It takes a long time for, to make it. So if you don't have the time to make it, you can get that commercially available. I know Dr. Kellyanne has her own brand out there. So bone broth is another great way to replenish your skin of the collagen that it has lost. Well, what else can you do? You can use a retinol moisturizer. So there have been studies that show that using uh, retinol or tretinoin, which is a prescription strength version, by applying that cream to your skin, you can thicken the collagen of your skin. You can thicken the dermis, which is the deeper layer of the skin. So that's basically a cream. We have one called the Yoon Beauty Retinol Moisturizer. Okay, and this is one that you use every night. If you pick one anti-aging cream, this is the one to choose. Now, the difference between a retinol moisturizer, like I just showed you, and tretinoin is that tretinoin or Retin-A, same thing, is prescription strength. It is much harder on your skin than an over-the-counter version of retinol like this one. And so for us, we created this retinol moisturizer. Very, very easy uh, to, uh, for your skin in general to tolerate. It's made with natural and organic ingredients. Uh, there are other brands that have retinol moisturizers out there. Um, and so take a peek if uh, you don't have access, let's say, to purchase mine and you want to try a different one, that's totally fine. Uh, but retinol is a great way to thicken the collagen of your skin to decrease the crepiness of that skin. Now, if you've got crepiness on your face, using a retinol moisturizer can work really well for that. Uh, if you've got it on your hands, you can use it for your hands, for other parts of your body as well. Be very careful though, if you're using a tretinoin, a prescription strength, uh, version, you don't want to put that on anywhere but your face because it might be too aggressive. So be very, very careful. Start with your face. 
If you're doing body, try to use more of a retinol and over-the-counter version. Don't necessarily go with the prescription strength because that's probably going to be too strong. All right, well, what else can you do? Well, if you have access to a med spa, dermatologist, plastic surgeon, there are certain non-ablative or basically no downtime lasers that basically function to tighten and even potentially thicken the collagen of your skin. There's a number of them out there. Some of them are lasers, some of them are radio frequency. In my office, we have ReFirm, that's a radio frequency device. Uh, there's another one called Peleve. These are all non-invasive and they really function to help thicken and tighten the collagen of your skin. So if, you, if you've got loose, crepey skin, then doing a laser treatment like this can definitely help. Now I tell you though, if the loose, crepey skin is not on your face or your neck, I don't necessarily recommend these treatments, okay? If that loose, crepey skin is on your tummy or if it's in your arms, those areas are too big. And if you treat it with these types of treatments, most likely you're not gonna see much of a change. So if your doctor is recommending a non-invasive skin tightening treatment, just be very careful because a lot of times the amount of change you're gonna get in those areas is so minimal that you might see it in your neck and your face, but you may not see it at all in let's say your tummy God forbid your thighs, your arms, areas where they're definitely bigger surface area and they just don't work well enough. So be careful with your money in those situations. Also, I recommend a collagen supporting multivitamin. So if you're not taking a good multivitamin, get one with these. These are the key ingredients that you wanna look for in your collagen supporting multivitamin. And not all multivitamins have it. So what do you need? Vitamins A, C, and D. Vitamin C especially, that is a cofactor as a part of collagen synthesis uh, in your skin. So super important to have vitamin C for your skin. You may have heard of this uh, term called scurvy. And scurvy was uh, this uh, disease or this condition that people got, sailors got a long time ago when they didn't have access to fresh fruits uh, and vegetables when they are on these long voyages. So what would happen is they may pack fresh fruits and vegetables initially on the voyage, they would finish them off or they would go bad a couple weeks in and then would have nothing after that. And so then these sailors would then find that they would have bleeding gums and teeth because the collagen of their gums would start breaking down. Uh, they would also have issues with their skin and eruptions and breaking down the skin too. That's why vitamin C is so, so important. It's also a great antioxidant, which is uh, very good for protecting your skin against free radicals. Folate, zinc, zinc is a key, key um, mineral that can help with the health of the skin. You need to have zinc to have healthy skin. Green tea extract, powerful antioxidant to also help with your skin's health. Um, so we formulated one, it's called Yoon Health Collagen Support. And um, this is a great multivitamin for the skin. Now it supports the collagen of your skin. It's not necessarily doesn't have collagen in it, but it's got a lot of these great uh, minerals, vitamins, antioxidants to help with supporting the collagen of your skin. So if you've got crepey skin, definitely something that I would recommend. You know, we sell that at our online store. There are other ones that you can buy as well. I recommend if you've got crepey skin, take a probiotic, at least five to 15 CFUs. Now this is something that's not necessarily gonna have a direct impact, impact on crepey skin, but a lot of times people who have crepey skin also have some inflammation going on in their skin. Um, a lot of times a skin that's somewhat unhealthy, that's not vibrant and lustrous, is because of issues in the gut. And so taking a good probiotic every day can help to, to treat that. And if you've got a gut-related issue causing problems with your skin, this may be able to help it. So take a good probiotic, at least five to 15, um, Billion, okay, I'm missing the billion, I'm sorry. You don't want five to 15 coliforming units because that's almost zero. <laughs> you want five to 15 billion CFU with your probiotic. And then fish oil. Uh, fish oil is real important because fish oil contains omega-3 fatty acids. Uh, this is great for reducing inflammation of your skin. Okay, once again, this and the probiotic aren't gonna directly impact the um, crepiness of your skin, but can all definitely help with promoting it being um, hydrated, moisturized, reduces inflammation, and is great for your skin as well. So I definitely recommend pick up a good high quality fish oil. Um, you can get it at uh, your local health food store. We have it on our online store as well. 
make sure that you take one that's high quality because some of them out there are rancid. So you don't wanna get a cheap fish oil. You don't wanna get one that's on sale because it's been there for a long time. Get a good high quality. Now, if you're interested in uh, taking a look at any of the products that I've shown you here, we just have a couple of the, the supplemental collagen. This is our highest selling uh, supplement and our retinol moisturizer, which is our top selling anti-aging cream. Um, you can go to uh, our website, dryunonline.com. If you've been enjoying these videos, subscribe by hitting my face that you see uh, on the screen uh, below you or below me. Um, otherwise, I will see you on our next informative video. I'm Dr. Anthony, an America's holistic plastic surgeon. We'll see you.